Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're in... I can't talk. <laughs> hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. If you are new and haven't seen my face before, hey, I'm Michaela. What's up? <laughs> make sure to subscribe to the channel down below and make sure to hit the bell button to be notified whenever I post a new video. For today's video, I'm bringing back an oldie. We're gonna be doing a tag video today. What are we in 2009? I don't know, but I saw YouTubers that I'm not actually subscribed to, ones that I just kind of came across. I saw them do this tag called the baby name tag and I thought, okay, this is perfect. I'm expecting a baby and and the cat wants out. Hold on. Do you want out, kitty? All right, and we are back in action. This is perfect. This is like the perfect video for me. I'm expecting a child in August, and I've been thinking of baby names. Well, we, meaning Dylan and I. If you're not following me on social media, AKA Instagram and Twitter, I will have them both on the screen right now. They're like my favorite apps ever. I post on them pretty frequently. I'm always posting photos because I love photos, and I'm just, constantly tweeting and chatting with you guys and you know just talking so go follow me on those if you haven't already and I guess without further ado let's just get on with this tag video and I hope you guys enjoy so pulling up the questions because I saved them all to my phone there's 15 questions I haven't even like read through all the questions yet so some of these I'm probably gonna be like mm. But let's just give it a go. The first question is, what is your favorite name from the Friends cast? So Friends is one of my favorite shows, if you guys didn't know. So for girls, I mean, I like the name Phoebe, but I probably wouldn't name one of my children that. So I would probably have to go with Monica. And then if I was choosing one of the boy names, probably Chandler just because I don't really hear that name that often. Probably Chandler. Second question is, if you had triplets and had to use three winter themed names, what would they be? And these can be like any gender. This is like really difficult. Um, I've seen the name Winter. I don't personally know anybody named Winter, but I know that people have used it as a name before. So probably Winter. These are all gonna be girl names probably just because it's really hard for me to think of boy names. So Winter, probably Snow. And then, definitely not snowflake, that just sounds ridiculous. Frosty? No, that kind of sounds dumb. Winter, snow, and maybe I'll just say frosty. I That literally sounds super dumb, but that's all I can think of right now. The next question is kind of similar. It's if you had triplets and had to use three summer themed names, what would they be any gender? I guess for a boy, maybe sunny, but spelled like S-O-N-N-Y instead of like sunny like the sun summer for a girl oh ocean for a girl so sunny summer and ocean would be the three triplets question four is what is your favorite upcoming name for 2019 that you think is going to be used a lot i think everly is going to be used a whole like shitload for a girl's name i've seen so many celebrities or just influential people on like instagram and stuff use that name for their babies i wouldn't use it personally but i do like the name question number five are what are non-negotiable to your partner aka names you are set on no matter what they think i really liked the name evelyn for girl dylan thinks it's kind of old school which I totally get that, but now I don't think I'm gonna use that name just because my supervisor at work is actually naming his baby that when it's born in the summer. Another name that I liked was Chloe. And again, Dylan didn't like that name because it reminded him of a girl he knows named Chloe. So actually we both know this girl, but anyways, I think that's all I can really think of though right now. Number six, if you had to use a name from your favorite movie, which would it be? What's my favorite movie? Okay, so this is like totally an old school movie. I actually have like two favorite movies. They're both older. My first favorite movie is Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I know, call me like a seven year old kid, but I really like that movie. I really like the name Violet for like a girl. And then I really am just spitting out all the girl names here. Like I don't think I've said a single boy name this whole video. Yay. I mean, the name Charlie isn't too bad for like a boy or a girl. And then another one of my favorite movies is Hairspray. With Zac Efron and who else is in it? Amber, no, what's her name? Brittany Snow, not Amber Snow, what the hell? Brittany Snow. They're all kind of like old school. I mean, Link is a pretty cool name for a boy, I guess. I just feel like my kid would get made fun of if I named him Link, but 
you never know. Number seven is if I had to use a name from my phone contacts, which would it be? Dylan, my fiance's name, Dylan Jr. If I had to like use it for my kids' names, Dylan Jr. I also have a friend who's a girl and her name is Randolyn. I really think that's like the most coolest unique name ever. So shout out to you, Randolyn. Miss you, girl. And then I also really like the name Riley. I have two Rileys in my phone, I think. Yeah, I really like that name for either a girl or a boy. It doesn't really matter. Let's move on to question number eight, which is what double-barreled name would you consider for a boy and a girl? I don't know what this means. I'm gonna look it up, so give me like two seconds. Okay, so it's like a hyphenated name, I guess. This is really hard because I haven't like done research on this before. Mary Kate, like Mary Kate and Ashley. No, I don't really like that to be quite honest. Ruby Joe. Scarlet Rose. That's kind of nice, actually. I kind of like that. And then for a boy, let's see. Jack Wyatt, Tyler J. I kind of like Jack Wyatt and Tyler J for boy names. I have to go with those ones for the double barreled boy and girl names. Ooh, this is interesting. Question number nine is what Disney names would you choose for a boy and a girl? Ooh, Disney names. Oh boy. Let me, you know what? Your girl needs to like refresh herself on some Disney names. So again, we're going to the good old Google. Okay, I really like the name Belle from obviously Beauty and the Beast. Also, there's I guess a Disney movie called The Rescuers. I really don't know what the heck that's about, but there's a girl in the movie, I guess named Bianca or like a character I should say. I really like that name too. Now we need boy names. Flynn? No. Oh my god these are all like so weird. Actually the name Remy isn't bad. There's a character from Ratatouille. I'm assuming a rat <laughs> named Remy. That name I would use for either a boy or a girl. Question number 10 is what would you name brunette, blonde, and red-haired children? This is so interesting. I'm just gonna stick to girl names because they're so much easier to think of than boy names. So if I had a red-haired Haired baby girl, I would probably name it Scarlet. Yeah, definitely. Blonde, um, probably Margot or Chloe. Yeah, probably those. And then for brunette, I'd say Riley. Yeah, probably Riley. Question number 11 is favorite city slash country themed name for a boy and a girl. Ooh, for a boy, definitely London. And for a girl, probably like Paris or if you want to do something more like original, Sydney. Obviously after Sydney, Australia. Ooh, number 12 is if you were to pick a Harry Potter themed baby name, what would it be? I actually like love Harry Potter. I have not watched the movies or read the books in quite some time, but definitely love Harry Potter. Probably Hermione, honestly. I like that name. I don't know if I'd ever use it, but I do like the name. I'm like totally drawing a blank on boy names from Harry Potter. Like obviously Harry, but I do not like that name. And Ron, I don't like that name either. So question number 13, if you had to use one of your friend's names, what would it be? Hmm, probably, it's like so hard because, well, not that I have a lot of friends, but just so picky with names. Ooh, I know, probably like Brooklyn or just Brooke after Brooke Christina, one of my best friends. She's also a YouTuber. I literally have a hair on my lip or something. Back to the question. Definitely Brooke or Brooklyn after one of my best friends ever, Brooke Christina here on YouTube. I will link her channel down below for you guys. So definitely go check her out and subscribe. Tell her I sent you. Second last question is, what is your favorite space themed name? Venus. I really like that name a lot actually. And then the last question, number 15, is choose a boy and a girl name based on Greek mythology. I do not follow Greek mythology whatsoever. So again, we're using the handy old Google to look up Greek mythology names for boys and girls that I may like. Okay, half of these I don't even know how to pronounce, but that's cool. Okay, Greek mythology names for boys. Let's see. Ajax, that's kind of cool. Castor, no, that reminds me of Castor Oil. Damon, I actually like that name. Reminds me of Vampire Diaries. And we gotta find the girl names here somewhere. Oh, these are probably them right here. Penelope, no, that reminds me of Pantaro. What is this? Hippolyta? Hippolyta? Sounds like a hippopotamus to me. These are really weird. Oh my god. Talia? That's kind of cute. Not my fave, but I mean, we'll take it. Yeah, so probably Talia and then what did I say for the boy? Right, Damon. Because that reminded me of Vampire Diaries. That was the last question in today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I honestly just wanted to do it for fun. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Make sure to follow me on all of my social media. I have Instagram, Twitter, and Tumblr. They're going to be on the screen and in the screen.
they're gonna be on the screen and in the description box down below so go follow me let's be friends also make sure to subscribe to my channel we are so close to 2,000 subscribers which is like super cool so go subscribe if you haven't already and yeah I think that's all I have to say so I hope you guys are having a great day or night whenever you're watching this and I'll see you guys in my next video bye let's go